I remember as a kid, well before the time where seat belts were a thing, riding in the back window of our car at night. We often traveled at night and I found myself looking into the night sky being simply amazed. I distinctly remember watching the moon and, and somehow how the moon seemed to follow me wherever we went. I started to think about it, about how big all that was and how small I was. And if the world was so big and I was so small, did I even count? And if I'm going to be honest, that wasn't just a question that I asked as a kid. It's a question that I've had at many different points in my life. And maybe you felt the same thing. Maybe you've really wondered if you really count or if who you are matters or is important to the world that you live in. If you have, rest assured it's natural. Even King David wrestled with it. In one of my favorite Psalms, Psalm 8, David, after seeing the majesty of God's creation says, when I look at the night sky and I see the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should even care for them. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. Now here's the amazing thing. The same God who is so big that he created the world and everything in it, created you too. And what's even cooler is that he considers you to be even better, more amazing, more unique, more beautiful. The next time you look into the night sky, remember this. If God had a choice between all of that and you, he picks you every single time.